Picture this. You're a female high school high jumper who just finished your performance at the state championship meet. You jump higher than anyone else in your division, but you still don't take home first place because a biological boy performs better than you. Unfortunately, that's not a hypothetical. That's a sad reality that high schoolers in New Hampshire faced earlier this week. For MRC TV, I'm John Simmons and welcome to the Woke World of Sports. Summersworth High School sophomore Savannah Como cleared the 5 foot 2 inch hurdle at the NHIAA Division II Championships at Plymouth State University on Sunday. That was 2 inches higher than any other competitor in the field, except for one. Kearsage High School sophomore Male Jacques matched Como's jump and ended up winning the event because she scored better than Como in previous jumps. The only problem with this is that Jacques isn't a she. Jacques is a biological boy posing as a girl. Once again, the leftist worldview has enabled troubled individuals to corrupt the competitive integrity of girls' sports. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time Jacques has done this. For the past two years, Jacques has competed in, and regularly won, many track and field events because of his inherent biological advantage over females. You'd think that after two years of this, the school district would do something to stop it. In past years, maybe, but in our current cultural climate, not a chance. Kearsage Regional School District Superintendent Winifred Fenneberg said, Each student athlete has the right to compete in the activity of their choice. The New Hampshire Interscholastic Athletic Association's stance on this issue is clear. Denying that opportunity is a violation of equal rights afforded under state and federal law. Further, we believe that limiting access to any activity violates our core mission and vision, which are grounded in supporting every student and student-athlete's right to pursue their goals and interests. Well, what about the goals and interests of the biological women that want to excel in their sports without having a biological male with an unfair advantage crush them? That seems a bit ridiculous to me. The state's politicians aren't much better either. Representative Timothy Horrigan, who's a liberal, works to oppose bills protecting girls' sports and said that these situations aren't important because they involve obscure events. We don't even know if she's actually trans, Horrigan said of Jacques, but if she is, that's certainly a very unfair thing to keep her from competing. A lot of these cases, they are pretty obscure competitions that normally sports fans wouldn't be paying much attention to. That is one of the most brazen statements from a politician I've ever heard. First of all, we do know for a fact Jacques is trans. Second, his job as a politician is to provide justice in any issue he faces, regardless of how obscure it is. Using that as a cop-out is as arrogant as it is irresponsible. And guess what, Horrigan? We're paying attention. Fortunately, people like Riley Gaines exist, and she blasted anyone who has sat idly by and enabled this situation to happen for so long. Citizens of the Granite State should emulate Gaines's mentality and take up the fight so that girls like Como don't have to face this again. Because it's painfully obvious that leftists like Fenneberg and Horian won't do that. So folks, what do you think? Was my analysis a home run or was it a big swing and a miss? Feel free to leave your comments and subscribe to our social media channels that still let you see our content. And always remember, be on your A-game and don't cave to the woke agenda in sports. For MRC TV, I'm John Simmons.